Good morning, everybody. I am so excited for our Thursday circle time today. We are going to be learning about colors. So as we do our calendar and as we do our weather, we're going to identify the colors we see. What is our month? What does this word say? April. And what color is April written in? Green and white. What other colors do you see on this card? Red, purple, yellow, the clouds are gray, the background is blue and white. Those are all the colors on here. Let's go ahead and do our calendar. Let's count our numbers first and then we'll identify some colors up here too. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and what color should this umbrella be? Green, blue, green, and that is our nine. Show me nine with your fingers. Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's nine. And like we said, we have blue and green on our calendar. Today is Thursday, April the 9th. The ninth day in April. Let's sing our days of the week. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. There are seven days, there are seven days, there are seven days in a week. Domingo, lunes, martes, miércoles, jueves, viernes, sábado. Hay siete días, hay siete días, hay siete días en la semana. Okay, we are now on to our weather. What's the weather? What's the weather? What's the weather like today? Is it sunny? Is it rainy? Is it cloudy out today? Look out your window. What do you see out there? Out my window right now, it is partly sunny. And what colors are on this? Yellow and white. The words are in black. It is also very windy outside. I took Ellie outside and the wind was blowing my hair around and blowing her fur around, so it is very windy. And what color is that? Blue. How does it feel outside? If it's kind of cloudy and it's very, very windy, how does it feel? Cold. And what color is this? Red. Since it's chilly, I had to bring out Mr. Panda's winter jacket. And what color is his winter jacket? Green. And there we go. We're going to continue to learn about colors with my book that I have today that says Bear Sees Colors. This is a favorite book of mine. I love this book. I hope you enjoy it too. Mouse and Bear are walking. They are chitter chatter talking. So much for them to do. And the bear sees... Look at those dragonflies. Think to yourself, hmm, what color could he see? What color does he see? Look at all of this. Blue! Blue flowers by the trail, blue berries. Our berries are here. Blue pale. Blue, blue everywhere. Can you spy blue with bear? What else do you see? That's blue. The fish. The water. The flower. The sky, those are all blue. On to the next one. Along the trail hops hare. Howdy ho there, mouse and bear. 
hair points up ahead, and the bear sees, look what's around here. There's two of them. What color might he see? Red. Red blossoms, red cherries, red juicy raspberries. Red, red everywhere. Can you spy red with bear? See what else is red? The birds, flowers, the watering can. Badger's at the pond with his old galoshes on. Look there, Badger bellows, and the bear sees, what color do we think? Yellow. Drippy, sticky, oh so yummy, honeycombs with yellow honey. Yellow, yellow everywhere. Can you find it just like bear? Got some yellow corn and yellow apples and the bees. Gophers out with mole, they're on a little stroll. Bear spots them by the stream and the bear sees more color. Green! Green mint for making tea. Green and tasty sweet peas. Green, green everywhere. Can you spy green with bear? What else do we see? Apples down here. Even their mugs are green that they're holding in their hand. Raven, owl, and wren lay a picnic in the glen. The friends all gather round and the bear sees, hmm, what color? This one's not as bright as the other ones. Brown, brown chocolate, so sweet. Brown cookies, such a treat. Brown eyes, brown hair, fluffy, friendly, brown. Bear! Colors, colors everywhere. Can you find colors just like bear? And then in the end, he has all the colors that he found. I love this book. We are gonna do another activity. So I'm gonna be showing you some pictures that I have down here and we're gonna identify what they are and what their color is. This is something you can do at home too. You can look around your house for items of these colors. What is this? An apple that is red. How about this one? These are orange shorts. What about this? This can be pucker. A lemon that is yellow. How about this one? These are delicious. I have these in my fridge right now. Grapes that are green. And a bucket that is B, b blue. How about this? You wear it on your head. A hat that is purple. Got a couple more. What about that? A heart shaped balloon that is p p pink. And an acorn that is b b brown. How about this one? I love these animals. An elephant, and what color is that elephant? G, g, gray. Two more. A mug to drink coffee out of. And what color is it? Black. And my last one. What is that? An egg, and it is white. Those are all of our colors that we have. Something fun you can do today is when you are in your house, look around and see if you can collect items of all of the different colors. See if you can find every color in the rainbow. 
we are actually going to be making some colors today. So behind me on my whiteboard, I have this sign. And it says, what will they make? What will they make? That's our question. We have to find out. On my tray over here, I have a plate. And I'm going to be putting three colors. This is my first one. What color is that? Yellow. So I'm going to put some yellow paint on here. Then my next one is, what color? Red. We're going to put red on this plate. And then next color, blue. So these are our three colors that we are going to be using. And we are going to have to mix them together and make other colors. Because I'm downstairs, I'm going to be using some cotton balls. But if I was upstairs in my kitchen or if I had a sink close by, I would mix the colors on my hands. So maybe at home, if you're feeling messy, you mix the colors on your hands. But right now, I'm going to use cotton balls. Okay, so up here, it says red and blue make. Let's find out. So I'm going to put some red on my one cotton ball, red, and some blue on my other cotton ball, blue, and then I'm going to mix them together. Mix, mix, mix. And they're going to make... What color does that look like? Can you tell? Purple! We made purple! Now we're going to do another one. Blue and yellow. Let's see these two. Just a little bit of blue. Blue and my yellow. What color do you think this is going to make? What do we think? What do we think? It's going to make... Green! Now we have green! And then we have one more color that we have to mix together. Yellow and red are going to make... What's one more color that we are missing up here? What are we missing from our colors? So we have our red... We have our yellow, and if we mix those together, what color is it? We are missing orange. That is our last color that we are going to make today. And we made all the colors. How fun is that? If you mix different colors together, maybe you combined your orange and your purple, or you add a little bit more of red or yellow, you're going to start to get different colors, and that would be a very fun experiment. Again, like I said, find different colors in your house today. Maybe mix the paint with your hands if you're feeling up to it. I will see you all on Monday. Enjoy your weekend. Bye, everybody.